What's Gucci? This is David, and today we're going to be checking out this MSI Mag C, or rather 301 CR2. This is an ultra wide monitor, 30 inches, and it features 200 hertz, and it's got a VA panel. And the reason I got this was because my gaming laptop's 15.6 inch screen was just a little bit too weeny, weeny tiny for me to use. Uh, especially since I like to use 100, 110 FOV in my multiplayer games, and that makes it a little hard to see the enemy. So I decided to opt in and get a, a monitor, and this is the one I went for. Now, uh, I got this for $150 used, so that's a pretty damn good deal in my opinion. Uh, what we're going to be doing in this video is going to be checking out what it looks like, what I like about this monitor, and what I don't like about it, and also um what the best settings are for you to use so that's what uh, we're going to be checking out right now first of all the build quality here it is a curved gaming monitor i think the curvature is 1500r and i think it looks pretty nice to be honest i think it looks nice and modern the bezels are not too thick especially on the left right and the top uh, they are pretty thin actually and then you do have this chin on the bottom but that's not a big deal Going over to the back here, we have a ring RGB light, which in my opinion looks pretty damn good. Especially when I got my blinds closed and I turn off all my lights, you can actually see the RGB bouncing off of the blinds and it creates a nice little bit of ambience um, to, for when I'm gaming. Uh, this stand here is really nice, by the way. This is a really nice stand, especially for the price that you pay for this monitor. Uh, brand new, I think it's like 89. Uh, this is a very heavy duty stand and I love how it clips on the back here. All you gotta do is push up on this tab here. You can take off the monitor and you can put it back on very easily, no tools required. I really like uh, the stand. However, I don't really like the design too much. Like I like how it looks, but functionality wise, uh, just it's a little hard to use because um, First of all, I got a pretty small IKEA table here, and I wanted to put my gaming laptop beside my monitor, but I can't do that because these legs are sticking out like a sore thumb. So I had to put it here in the, on the ground, unfortunately. Not a big deal, but it is something that um, I wish they would go for more of a square stand. Anyways, let's go ahead and check out this monitor's best settings. These are the settings that are going to give you the best image quality um, from this uh, from this uh, monitor. All right, we're going to close this out. That's just a YouTube video, by the way. That is not my gameplay. So what I'm going to do here, we're going to go and I'll click this red button in the back here. Let me show you what that looks like. You're going to want to click that in. And uh, first of all, game mode. I would not recommend going to any game mode. All of these are trash, especially FPS. All it does is make your picture way too sharp and it tries to process it to make it look better, but it looks looks like garbage. Night vision. This, uh, this is up to you. I would go up to normal. Basically what it does is it raises your black levels so it's a little bit easier to see enemies. And also, uh, it helps with black smearing that this VA panel has a big problem with. Uh, so, if you put it put it on normal, you are going to improve the ghosting and black smearing issue that this this monitor has. However, uh, game looks like wet garbage when you put it on that. It is way too um, decontrasted, and I can't play like that. So I turn it off. Response time, you're gonna want it on fastest. And by the way, to get the best response time and to reduce uh, ghosting and motion blur, you are gonna to have to uh, have this plugged into DisplayPort. If you use HDMI, you're gonna be limited to 180 hertz. To get the full 200 hertz of this monitor, you are gonna to have to use DisplayPort. And also, if you have an NVIDIA card, you are gonna to have to use a DisplayPort because uh, G-Sync only works with NVIDIA or what uh, G-Sync only works with this play board. So uh, anti-motion board, I would not turn this on because it 
affects how the um, how the brightness looks and it makes it even darker than it already is. Going all the way down here, uh, FreeSync. This is up to you, but I would definitely recommend turning FreeSync on because then you can use G-Sync on your NVIDIA card or if you have an AMD card, you can use FreeSync. And it just it's just really awesome. It's an awesome technology. I don't know why you wouldn't use that. So um, there you go. Going, uh, well, what, is, what just happened? Going down, we're gonna go to professional. So pro mode, I would use cinema. It's the best looking um, picture quality in my opinion. But you are gonna wanna adjust the contrast down to 50 if you want a usable image. Because I, I think by default, it's at 70. And then if you use um, designer, it puts the contrast to 100. And this is a terrible, terrible setting because it makes your, um, your images way too contrasty. And on this monitor, it looks like dog shit. All right, it looks really bad. Especially, I remember when I was playing Battlefield 5 and it was on one of those maps where it's really sunny and, you know, it's got a lot of shadows. I'm just like thinking to myself, why does this look so contrasty? I can't even see anything. I, I can barely see my gun uh, or my enemies. So, um, I, you know, I was fiddling around with the settings and it finally came down to contrast. I put it down to 50 and now everything looks like, like it should. You know what I mean? or sharpness I put this to one um, I don't like the sharp look but this is a 1080p panel and you can see some checkerboarding so uh, or screen door effects so I would you know just try to sharpen that up a little bit help it out a little bit uh, for color temperature I prefer warm because it's the closest to real white normal and cool obviously makes your picture cool um, and just it's a less accurate um, white. Uh, and then also going all the way to the bottom here. If we go to, uh, this is where you can turn off the LED in the back. But if we go down to information on screen, you can turn this on to see if your free sync or your G-Sync is working. So this hurts right here. You can pull this up while playing a game and you'll see that it's dynamically being being adjusted as your FPS is going up or down. So uh, that's a good way of seeing if um, if FreeSync or G-Sync is working on this monitor. And no, this monitor does not have a G-Sync or a G-Sync module, but uh, NVIDIA cards support FreeSync. So that's why I'm saying G-Sync, because if you go to NVIDIA's control panel, you're not gonna see a FreeSync option. You're only gonna see a G-Sync option, even though this display is not validated as G-Sync compatible, it's still gonna work with, uh, with FreeSync. All right, now, what is my opinion about this monitor? Should you get this monitor? What's the image like? All right, if you're gonna use this mostly just to watch YouTube videos, um, honestly, actually, I can't really recommend this to anyone. <laughs> All right, yes, it is a VA panel, yes, uh, the contrast, is a little bit better than IPS but my god the ghosting and the black smearing is out of this world all right it is too much for me to handle now I know I'm coming from it a really fast IPS panel on my gaming laptop I know I got a 4k OLED screen that is in my living room but guys I can't handle this um, because it is too much it is even present on Counter-Strike when I'm at 200 frames per second or more, it's I can still see the motion blur. When I'm playing Modern Warfare 2019 or Warzone and um, it's a sunny day, I can still see the ghosting very, very noticeably. I mean, it is super noticeable. Um, when I go to games like Doom Eternal, I turn everything up to maximum. I'm getting like 80, 90, 80, you know, whatever down to 60 frames per second. And you, we all know, you know, Doom Eternal is like really, really contrasty. Um, wow, it looks horrible. Like the black smearing, it almost make, makes the game unplayable for me. Like I'm not enjoying the game at all when I, um, when I use it on this monitor. 
It is that bad. Also, uh, the sharp or the image quality in general did not impress me. Um, it looks looks a little dull, looks a little not that great. The colors look a little bit off in my opinion in general. Also, the, um, what's it called? Uh, I had something in my mind, but I forgot it. Anyways, what I'm trying to say, guys, if you're trying to play games on this, I would not get this as a gaming monitor. I just cannot recommend it. Uh, that's why after owning it for about three days, I'm already putting it up, putting it up for sale on Facebook Marketplace and Craigslist. Um, and I already bought the MSI uh, Mag C301 F or RF, which is basically what this is, but it's not curved and it's got an IPS panel and it's G-Sync compatible as well. So that I think is gonna be a better monitor for me because uh, when I come to this room, I mostly just play games. Uh, when I wanna enjoy a nice cinematic experience and really nice contrasty uh, colors and whatnot, uh, I go in my living room and play on my, on my OLED. And you know, I'll bring my gaming laptop over there as well, use my controller and all that. Uh, but if, if you're trying to play FPS games or any games, and um, you hate motion blur or ghosting and black smearing, uh, well, this monitor is gonna give you all of that. Anyways, uh, I don't recommend this monitor. Thank you guys for watching this video, and God bless.